Hi everyone, this is Miss Tang and today we're going to be looking at conducting chance experiments. Okay, so our criteria is I can make predictions, I can record the results, revise my predictions, compare and contrast and make conclusions. So let's have a look at the chance experiments that we are going to conduct today. So the first one is a coin flip chance experiment. So you're going to flip a coin 12 times and then you're going to record each flip as a tally mark. So this is what you'll need. You'll need a coin, you'll need a pencil, you'll need an activity sheet. So I'll show you what that looks like. You can also do it on a piece of paper as well. So the instructions are you're going to flip the coin, you're going to record the result as a tally mark um, whether the coin landed on heads or tails um, and then you're going to repeat those steps one um, steps one and eleven uh, one and two eleven more times so that you've got to flip it at a total twelve times okay so before you begin um, you're going to make a prediction so what do you think the results are going to be so what is your prediction do you think there'll be more heads do you think there'll be more tails what do you think what do you predict okay and then after you do that you're going to flip your coin and then you're going to put in some tally marks of what you think so what do you think um, how many times did it land on heads how many times did it land on tails make sure you do that a total um, 12 times and then you tally and you total it up and then you put in what was your prediction correct why or why not if you are able to complete this chance experiment again, do you think the results would be the same? So you put in yes, no, because, okay? And then you're going to do it again. So redo your prediction and then do it again. Put in your tally, put in your total, and then you're going to answer these questions. Do you think there is an even chance of flipping a head or tail? Why or why not? Was your revised prediction correct? Why or why not? Are the second tally results the same as your first coin flips? What was different? What was the same? Why do you think there is or is not a difference in the two coin flip results? If you were able to complete this chance experiment again, but you flip the coin 40 times, do you think the results would be similar? Why or why not? Okay. If you'd like to do a chance game with um, another player, then you definitely can, okay? So um, what you're going to do is you're going to um, pick whether you want to be Ed or Dale, okay? So there are two characters in here. Um, so the player with the next birthday, they are going to go first. They toss a coin. If it's... Um, Ed and the coin lands with the head facing up then you can place a counter to cover one of your circles okay so if you are Dale and the coin lands with the tails up then you can place a counter over the circle so this is what it looks like so every time if you choose to be Ed then every time you get heads you can put a counter on the circle if you like or you can like cross it off etc okay so this is if you want to play a game with someone else um, and then we have Dale so if you choose to be the character Dale and every time you get tails then you get to um, cross one circle off or you get to put a counter on there so the whole aim of the game is to see who gets to go to the finish line first what you can also do is do a bottle flipping activity as well so you can um, pick your if you have multiple players or you can do this on your own as well okay so you put the players names down so um, if there are so you and a partner can do this or you can do this on your own you put the names of the players here you predict how many tries do you think it will take to win um, the bottle flipping competition so 20 is the maximum so have a prediction See if you can guess how many times, um, how many times you can bottle flip. Um, and then you're going to tally. So you're going to count the number of body bottle flips um, until you land one. So you have to 
um, try to predict how many times do you think it will take for you to flip your bottle for it to land, okay? And then you put your prediction there and then you actually do the activity. So you flip your bottle, try to flip it as many times as you can until it lands. Okay, and then you write the number here. And then your partner will also do it. They'll try to flip their bottle um, over and over again to see how many times um, it will take until it lands. Okay, and then you go again and then you try, try that again. And then after you do that, you can see if you can graph it. So you can graph, you could put numbers on the side of this graph, number of flips, and then you can draw a column graph um, and draw, yeah, and graph your results. Okay. All right. Have fun.